it's Cara and today's Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is an ongoing tag series created by Delaney over Ginger Reads Lady and currently hosted by Sam at Thoughts on Tomes. I'll leave their links, links to their channels, plus links to Goodreads and stuff down below um, for you to check out. Our topic this week is our favourite uh, bookish merch, either our things that we want or things we already have. So I've kind of grouped this into categories um, for my five, like five categories of merch, because that made the most sense to me. So let's get started. At number five, we have Funker Bops. I have the uh, Beauty and the Beast Funker Bops. I have uh, Cogsworth and Lumiere, but I also have Mrs. Potts and Chip. And then I have Gus Gus from Cinderella. But I want Funker Pops about more book series because like other than Harry Potter because there's Funko Pops about like every TV show, every movie you could think of. There's a Bob Ross pop vinyl. I got my brother a um what is it? It's a Jimi Hendrix pop vinyl for his birthday because his middle name's Hendrix. I why are there not more book pop vinyls? I want these to exist. I would buy them. Like I would buy Shadowhunters pop vinyls. I would buy like so many pop vinyls um yes and i don't want to have to make my own or buy the really expensive custom i want funko to make good book pop vinyls at number four we have mugs i have this mug which is a harry potter heat mug so it says i solemnly swear that i'm up to no good and has these little footprints on the back i used to say mischief managed but that's wet off because i drink from this like nearly every day um and when you heat it up, it turns into the map and it says on the back of the Marauder's map. I love this mug. If you watch some of my uh, vlogs, you'll see this mug. Um, I also have a Harry Potter mug that's just the Deathly Hallows symbol, which I keep at work, um, which is my tea mug at work. Uh, I have a tea mug and a coffee mug <laughs> because I hardly ever, rin like I rinse out my mugs daily, but I drink more than one tea and coffee a day. Um, and I want more. I always see these mugs being collected in like owl crates and things. I can't afford to get owl crate, but I want a good store that'll sell me mugs. I need to hit go explore Etsy, I know, but I want bookish themed mugs. Please give me your recommendations for things you know I've read. Send me links to mugs. Then at number three, I just really wanted to talk about my Hufflepuff badge. I got this for my birthday a while back. I don't know if I'm in frame. I'm just gonna like bring this towards you. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is my Hufflepuff badge. I'm a Hufflepuff, if you didn't guess. I don't wear this very often, but if there's any Hogwarts, like Harry Potter themed anything, I wear this. But what I really, really want is a Hufflepuff scarf. Yeah. I need me a Hufflepuff scarf. I'm such a Hufflepuff. I would wear a Hufflepuff scarf all the time. Like this is, I don't wear badges, so this is weird. I don't have anything to pin it to that I would want it on because I'd be concerned I'd lose it if I put it on my backpack. I know Jesse loses the badges on his backpacks all the time. So, I want a scarf, but Hufflepuff merch. Just, just give me all the Hufflepuff merch. And number two, I want to talk about themed candles. If anyone knows a themed, like book themed candle company, that ships basically free, or not not free, but at Australian reasonable prices, like an Australian-based book candle company. Hit me up, please. I really want those bookish-themed candles. I'm a candle lover. Um, I think because I was denied candles my whole childhood, my dad didn't like us having candles in the house. And now that I have my own house, I go nuts with candles, especially over winter. I want some bookish-themed candles. I don't have any. I have a lot of candles, but not bookish-themed ones. I want them. I need them. Someone please send me the link to one that's not going to cost me the earth and shipping. Thanks. And finally, I want to rave about these wood marks from Ink and Wonder. Ink and Wonder is an Australian brand, but they do ship internationally really cheap. I think it's $3 for me to ship internationally, maybe $8. Um, so really cheap. Um, these are the wood marks. They're wood, but a bookmark. Um, and these are great designs. So I have a Hufflepuff one, which says where they are loyal and has a little badger on it. I have uh, one from Nevernight, which says the brighter the light, the deeper the shadow. And I have one that says dream up something wild and improbable, which is from Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. 
I resisted buying like 50 of these by the argument that I could only buy ones from series I've actually read. So we're here, but I'll be checking back on that frequently. I was going to buy the Slytherin one for Jesse because he's a total Slytherin, but they were out of stock at the time I was ordering these, so hopefully they're back in stock next time I place an order. I think it's a Grisha Trilogy one that I'm hopeful to get soon. So yes, Woodmarks, these are amazing, really cheap international shipping, you should totally get some. So those are my top five bookish merch. Please comment down below any of your ideas for things I mentioned. Links, please. Otherwise, I will see you soon with another video. Thank you for watching and bye!